Been working on a trail down by our creek on what we call the back 40 uh, that I want to be able to use my Polaris to cross the creek uh, to actually get to the back 40. And this tree was down uh, across the pathway. It was the last sort of main barrier. So we uh, cut it in lengths, drug it up here, and sawed it up and split it into firewood. And we're pretty sure it's a poplar tree. And so uh, the pop poplar trees have some uh, unique uses, I guess not unique, but uh, important uses in a survival scenario, not only for firewood, but also for uh, making emergency cordage. Uh, our oldest son Cameron is down uh, for the Christmas holidays and New Year's and so he's going to demonstrate how to harvest uh, the portion of the poplar tree that can be made into cordage and actually create a little cordage for you. Yeah, one of the most uh, reliable sources of cordage material in the southern woods is fallen hardwood trees where the inner bark has already gone through a process called redding, which is basically just rotting and breaking down just a little bit. So we have this these logs cut into pieces already so the bark just falls right off. What you want is the inner bark. So you can see it's stratified into layers with the inner bark coming off from the outer bark easily because it has rotted just a little bit. You can do a controlled redding in a container of water if you harvest um, fresh bark but at least in our woods there's plenty of tulip poplar on the ground at all times and the bark is at various stages of rotting and it's perfect for cordage. So I'll just get a few more strands off of here. That's a good one. Got this piece here. All right. I'm going to break this down just a little more. We'll make a reverse twist strand of cordage very easy to break down in this state. Very pliable, but also very strong. Just going to do a little quickie, quickie rope here. Now roughly the same amount in both hands. This will do just fine. For this demonstration, I'm just going to tie it off at a knot at the top. So we have two strands coming from a knot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this knot in my mouth and I'm going to, at the same time, twist these in opposite directions while crossing over the other, like this. and you end up with reverse twist cordage. You can make it as thick, as short as you want. And if it was a little drier, it'd be a lot more strong. Well, actually what we use today is a little past prime. Uh, didn't have the tensile, near the tensile strength because it was a little past the, uh, the stage when you would normally use it and harvest it in the rotting process. But if you find it in the correct state, it will have been wet before, it will already have rotted, and it will already have dried back out. And it'll, be, it'll have a lot of strength. Can you take it off of a live tree? Can you peel under, uh, if you find a standing poplar, can you peel away the outer bark and, and use it in that way? It is possible, but you, it's, you won't be able to get very long strands because the inner bark is fused to the outer bark so strongly. That's why it's important to find a piece 
in nature that's already gone through a little bit of natural rotting. Very good. Thanks, man.